Hey guys, what is up and welcome to today's vlog. I hope you're feeling awesome wherever you are, whatever you're doing while you're watching this. Today is going to be an awesome day and that is because we are going to the Nismo Festival at Fuji Speedway. And if you don't know what that is, you need to Google it because it is awesome. May, scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you about going? 15. So if she's that excited, you can only imagine where, like my level of excitement. Anyways, uh, we're nearly there, and the cool thing is, is because we're going to Mount, uh, sorry, Fuji Speedway, you keep seeing Mount Fuji in the distance, which is like really nice to just see the scenery and the mountains that you're driving through. So that's kind of nice. Anyways, I'm gonna focus on driving now because we just got out of traffic, and then once we're there, we'll start filming. Look at Fuji in the background. Oh my God. All right, so we just finished parking and how beautiful this Fuji look in the background. You can hear the sound of race cars and let's just do a quick car park walk. Obviously the 33.4 is right here. There's a really nice 34 GTT there. R31, S15, R35 in front of mine. And if you just keep walking, it's just continuation of just all the best Nissan cars ever. Another Ichigo, another R35, R32, GTR, another R34, GTR here. This one looks like a M-Spec Nur edition as well with an R1 Nismo kit in it. This is a V-Spec 2 R34 GTR. Like, damn, so many awesome cars. So we still haven't made it to the top of the event, but everyone's just kind of here on this bank here. And we're watching all the cars racing by this part of Fuji Speedway. There's a couple coming now. It's very cool. All right, so we just got to the top where like all the vendors and everything is to the entrance of like the main grandstand And uh, there is this really nice condition Fair Lady Z. I think it's the 240 Looks so nice Damn and the interior is immaculate condition so good to see a fair lady in this good condition In there have a look at the front as well so all the vendors that are here are of course all selling parts and you'll see tons of people coming in and buying parts right now like there's a GTR stock intercooler there for only Gosean which is like 50 bucks you got my buddies at the Tomei stand here they've got all their engines out on display really clean 32 GTR there Tomei RV25 demo engine with their bolt-on turbo kit and then their RV28 with their bolt-on twin turbo kit as well. Little Datsun motor over here. Tomei 1300. It's so cute. And then the CA18 as well. And the filthy SR20 up the back there. <laughs> the HKS stand here and the HKS R34 GTR. Looks amazing. I love this car. Got the OS Gaiken 240Z here with the L28 and the OS Gaiken head with the carbon fiber uh, intake manifold. Thing looks awesome. Got some pretty awesome Zs here as well and a Hakoska. L series motor, triple carbs. Looks so good. Let's get a front look at this Hokoska. There it is. Damn, boy. Another one there as well. So good to see them fully restored and looking this good. The Grady booth, they got their uh, competition. Their Drift R35 GTRs on display. You're in my shop, babe. <laughs> Check out the size of these brakes. <laughs> Endless brakes for a 35 GDR. 
This is awesome. This is a Nismo R35 GTR, and this was hand built by Hiroyuki Ichikawa san. If you've got a generator and you want to make it quiet, just add a sick ass muffler to it. <laughs> so, we've just gotten in the pits and uh, we can't go past this fence though. We we're just having a look at some of the cars that were out racing. So cool to see. There's so much to show you guys at this event. I hope I can get this in a relatively small video. <laughs> it's amazing. See, they put the air in there and then when they release it, the car should go up by itself. Watch. See? How cool is that? Has pistons in it, like pneumatic pistons that lift the car up. So good. Later on, they're gonna let me do a pit walk through here, so we'll get to show you guys some cars up close. Man, it's literally like kid in a candy store right now for me. S12 Sylvia. This thing looks awesome. Damn. I think the nickname for these is normally called a gazelle. Oh my God, that looks so cool. I need to have a look at what that thing is. And there's the 31 or the 30 there. Have a quick look at this. See if we can get over here. There it is. Man, these cars are so cool. Like the, the wide body kits, the aero on them. Would have been so cool to be like a young guy watching these things race back in the day. All right, let's get out of the crowd. Let some other people get some footage. This is the, uh, I guess, the Coca-Cola Cannon Bluebird. It's really cool. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. I should do a, this is cool, or the word cool counter in my video. <laughs> so we're currently under the racetrack where the tunnel goes to take you up into the grandstand. It's so cool. This track is amazingly planned out. And I've also never seen Mei-chan so excited to be at something car related. <laughs> so we're in like the main Nissan Nismo section where they have like a bit of stuff set up for their retail section, like all their Nismo parts and stuff. And they've got all the Nismo edition Nissan cars here. And they've got the Nismo edition 35 GDR, Fair Lady's Ed, the 370, uh, the Duke. I know that's the March, which is essentially just a Nissan Micro if you're from Australia. Uh, and then the note, that's the note, that's right. I'd love to get one of these and just zip around in them. Hopefully you guys can see this from back here, but they're interviewing Tsuchiya-san and a couple other races from back of the day. It's kind of interesting, but it's hard to hear when work out what's going on from back here. I still can't get over how awesome Fuji looks from over here. Anyways, we're heading into the grandstand because there's a big uh, like Z race thing that's about to start. Hey babe, look, it's your size race car. I'm serious. You'd fit in that perfect. Look how cute it is. It's so awesome. Ah, uh, I can't get over Fuji. Okay, where are we going now? Closer look at one of the Blitz uh, cars here, which is this 34 with like a chrome and blue paint job. I don't know if it's a wrap or... Ah, oh, it's a wrap. Yeah, I can see the wrapping ends. It's got Z-Tune front fenders. It's kind of nice, but could you imagine trying to keep this clean? <laughs> it's so difficult to keep this thing clean. 
You got Top Secret here, a couple of their GTRs. The 32 looks mean as hell. And then you've got R31 house here, and they've got a Tommy Kaira. Kaira? I think I pronounced that right. Tommy Kaira um, R31. I think it's the HR31. Someone correct me, but this thing is flipping nice. He's looking for about. Uh, $42,000 Australian for this car, it's for sale. And they got another one here. And we saw this one at Auto Salon, but it is so nice. Really shiny, well looked after. Check out this uh, R33 that they've uh, pretty much made it all look like that uh, main character from Cars. And then you got a couple drift cars here. Two S15s. And then check out this little micro here. It is so cool. It's rear-wheel drive swapped SR20. This thing would be mental to drive. Everything in there is completely custom. You can see like up in the firewall there, they customized a whole bunch of stuff, but dang, this thing would be fun to drive. Fully caged out as well. It'd be so much fun to drive this. They got a S15 convertible. And then uh, some more uh, R34, R33, R32 Skylines here. This one's a little bit hectic. Running a Hyper Tune Intake Manifold. Uh, twin massive Grady Turbos as well. It's really kept nice and clean in there too. Be interesting to know what ignition system he's running because he's running all of his um, ignition wires into the cabin. Looks good though. So here's a perfect example of the lineup of all the Skylines. Nismo, R35, R34, R33, love that midnight purple. R32, Ken Mary, Hakoska. So awesome. This is a GTR magazine um, stand and they got every generation here. It's so awesome. Well, except the 31, I guess, and the DR30. But they did, they did well, they did well. I'm in doing the pit walk right now, and it's, it's pretty cool because it's a completely different perspective from what you're used to in the grandstand over there. And it's just really cool. Whole bunch of cars over there I want to get pictures of, but track looks awesome. And then we're going to uh, go see what cars they've got out here for us to look at. It's going to be near impossible to get nice pictures too because there's so many people everywhere. Look at them. There you go. Look at this crowd. Just, just look at the cars. We managed to get to the front of the line to look at the 34 versions of the GT race cars and then the 33 one there. These things are so sick. You see everyone fighting to try and get pictures. Anyway, so I'm going to go further along and have a look at some of the old 32s, like the Calsonic 32 GTR and things like that. This is so awesome. So, fighting with people right now to try and get some nice photos. But uh, you can see the Calsonic and the Advan and the STP HKS 32 GDRs over there. And then uh, I'm trying to get photos of the Clarion GTR LM R33. Alright, so I managed to get some nice photos of the LM GT4 uh, Skylines and HKS 32s, the STP and the Calsonic and all that. And I'm going to go through and get these Hokoskas and whatnot as well. Um, man, it is so interesting, like, I had to fight with all these Japanese guys that literally were just standing there just to look at the, the female models over there. It's so, so dumb. Like, they wouldn't move to let other people take pictures because they just wanted to stand there and have a perv. So annoying. All right, so I'm at the end now of the pits. Beautiful Ken Mary. And then there's two Hokoskas here. Look awesome. But uh, as you can see, the main entertainment seems to be just staring at these models up here. Like, come on. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I got my photos. I don't know which one I'm gonna use for a thumbnail yet, but uh, hopefully one that looks awesome. Man, I love the livery on the HKS32. Looks so good. I think that's one of the reasons why it's so well known. And then of course the Calsonic 32 GTR which is in behind here.
Yeah. We'll take another look at the uh, LMG2433s. You guys can see all the models and why everyone's just standing here trying to get pictures and perv on them. I don't know why, look. I don't know. Whatever rocks your boat, right? <laughs> it's my hero. I touch it. Us. Here's some bikes for all the guys that are into motorbikes on the channel. Really nice old school Kawasaki's. Look at those funnels in there. Super nice. I'd love to get one of these if I knew I could keep it this clean and immaculate. All right, so we walk into like the Nismo Morty factory section of the festival and they pretty much have like brand new condition cars here. <laughs> the Nismo Morty factory BCNR 33 and the entire thing oh my god it's like brand new that steering wheel looks so good i got some cool stuff 35 gtr morty factory edition again looks so good And then of course the 34, which will be like, oh, it's got the Z-Tune fenders on it. V-Spec. They put the new Nissan logo on it. This is the second kind of stall they have or stand. They've got a Nismo Morty Factory Edition R32 GTR which has the R35 Brembo brakes on it, which look huge. They've got an entire Nismo S2 series uh, RV26 on display, with pretty much the layout of everything for the car, which looks awesome because they've got the brake, brake set up, the calipers and the brake lines. I love it when they lay things out like this so you can see how things are all set up in the, in the cars themselves. Looks great. And they've got a whole bunch of parts all here. Yeah, it's all the new heritage parts listings that just came out. So you can, you know, fix your 32 GDRs and stuff like that. But the pricing's like, um, they all went up like 80 to 90% in, in price because it's now all heritage essentially. They've got all the body parts here now too. And it looks like they've got an entire car shell on a rotisserie. Um, wow, that is cool. And like they even suspended the wiring harness and stuff so you can see where all the wiring goes inside the car. It's like even the door harnesses and everything go along the, uh, the wires. That's really cool. All right guys, so we're now in the car park and we're about to jump in our car and head home. But today was just absolutely amazing. This is just such an awesome event. And if ever you're able to get to this event, if you're here in Japan, do it because you won't regret it. Uh, babe, did you enjoy yourself? Yeah. Yeah, even, even May loved it, so that's awesome. Anyways guys, uh, I'm gonna get a few more shots of like some of the cars that are here in the car park. Um, and then we're gonna get some nice photos of my car with Fuji in the background and stuff like that. And then uh, we're gonna drive home and wrap it up. It's a nice R34 GTT. It's got the Z-Tune bonnet, um, side guards, front guards, and uh, it's pretty rigged out on the inside too. It's got a whole bunch of nice stuff in there. Lots of Nismo parts. It's a 33 GTR, another 33 GTR, and it's like set up for racing. It looks awesome. All stripped out. This wing is looks Crazy. He's got like double wings on there. <laughs> got some exhaust fume damage to the paint. 
Same with this one. Damn, there's some nice cars here. All right, I better, uh, I better get back to the car so May can get in the warm air. There's a nice 33 there. Z32, 300ZX. Midnight Purple R33 GTR with a 32 GTR. Another 32 GTR. Nice Subaru, SDI. Oh look, there's a 33.4 there with mismatched wheels. I wonder whose that is. <laughs> Anyways, there's so many cars here guys. I'd love to walk around and show them all to you, but we just don't have time. So uh, we're going to uh, jump in the car. We're gonna take a few photos and then we're gonna head home. So we're on our way home and uh, we've been stuck in traffic for like one to two hours. And uh, it looks like, oh my gosh, the car's upside down, babe. Oh my gosh. I really hope everyone's okay. And um, what? yeah, that's so bad. I've never seen an accident like this here in Japan. This is insane. This is crazy. What is that? Oh my gosh, it's an, oh man, that's so bad. And there's a motorbike involved. Oh, far out, that sucks so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, baby. Wow. All right, well, I hope everyone's okay, um, but that's why we were stuck in traffic and uh, we're gonna get back on focusing driving. After a really long day, making May follow me everywhere through the entire festival and whatnot, I thought it was only right to wine and dine her, minus the wine. But um, definitely got some really nice food that I'm sure she's gonna enjoy. I got some nice pasta as well. All right guys, so we just got home and I'm wrecked. I had such an amazing day though, and uh, May even enjoyed herself. As I said, I was like a kid in a candy store and May was kind of, I guess, like you were just like interested and kind of learning lots, right? Mm. Awesome. And uh, I'm super excited because she was like, man, I really want to get my license soon. So um, that's, that's awesome and a little bit intimidating for her. But um, <laughs> otherwise, tomorrow's full day working on the 33.4. I've got heaps of work to do, as I said in the previous vlog. Um, we've got to put this gritty front mount on that you see under the Christmas tree. Um, and then what else is happening? Drifting. Drifting, <laughs> Drifting the day after that with Okachan again at Nico Circuit, which I'm super pumped for, which means I get to improve more, I get to learn more. And uh, you guys obviously get to come on that journey with me and just see me improve. Like if you go on my channel all the way back to like in Australia when I was drifting with my 34, I've improved so much. <laughs> So um, I'm really happy about that. And um, yeah, for the rest of the week, I'm not sure what's happening. Kind of take it as it comes. Um, but yeah, you want to say this with me? Thanks heaps for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Ciao, Ciao matane. matane.